<laughs> kind of speechless. What uh, these young men have done, um, the seniors, we had them stand up and the whole team gave them a standing ovation um, in the locker room there. What they've come from um, to where they are. Our, our team captain probably said it the best before we went out. I gave them a talk and they were fired up. And then our team captain talked to them and they got extremely fired up. And um, David Quisenberry, he goes, guys, three years ago we were, there was 120 Division I teams. We were probably 120. And today we can go out there and win 10 games in front of national championship, national television two weeks in a row and show the world how far we've come. And uh, those young men have done it. Um, I, I tip my hat to the captains. Phenomenal leadership. Um, we picked them last spring. Uh, we met as a group all the time. Um, I, you know, Travis Johnson, Noel Grigsby, Ryan Otten, David Quisenberry, um, phenomenal young men. They'll be success in whatever they do. You know, uh, Travis Johnson, to play with his knee hurt like it is, with his PCL, he just puts a brace on it, can hardly walk during the week during practice, and he goes and plays on the game. And he, he broke the WAC record tonight and the San Jose State record. Um, we had to cut his leg off for him not to play. Um, it's just phenomenal. You know, we had 217 rushing yards by Deleon, and then we um, put Ina in on a fourth down and short, and he piled drives, drives everybody. Everybody played their role, so it was just unbelievable. You know, three interceptions by Benet Ben Wickery. And, you know, he got beat a couple times, but he kept playing because we told him they were going to make plays. They're a good football team. And uh, Coach Bear um, did a great job on the defense. We said if we don't let them run, we can beat them. And uh, we held them to less, you know, what, 10 and a half, 12 points or 11 points less than their total. And I think we were fortunate enough to beat them. That's the worst they've been beating all year, 11 points. Um, and uh, so uh, they're a great football team. Uh, Sonny Dykes has done a great job with them. Um, their players are ex play extremely hard. Um, I really like the way they play. They're a, they, they're a good football team. They, they play the right way. Um, it was fun playing against them. And just my hats off to our, our team, to our captains, um, to our seniors. Um, what a way to, to finish their regular season. And that's fun to say because we got one more. And uh, uh, we can't wait to play that one either. So uh, I'll take any questions at this time. Be here with, with 10 wins. What does this say? Does this say that this program is back? Ooh, I'd say we're, we're back on the way. Um, we still got a lot to do. Um, you know, we still got a lot to do. And, you know, you can never either get better or getting worse. Nothing stays the same. That's our saying. And so we'll keep pushing along. We'll keep going. Um, you know, we've got a, a lot of young men that are, um, we'll have back next year. We lose some great seniors. But we redshirted some kids. And we got a good junior class that's playing real well. Um, I would say that our footing is going the right way. Um, we've just got to keep stepping up and keep going in the right direction. In the start of the second half, when touchdown drives are being exchanged pretty rapidly, uh, what, what was going through? What, what were you thinking? You know, what needs to happen for us to win? I thought that um, if we could keep them from running like we did, um, that we would eventually pick them off. That's what I thought would happen. I didn't think they would be able. I knew they'd make some plays. A couple of the long balls we'd like to have back, but wow, a couple of those catches. I mean, unbelievable. They're like Lynn Swan all over again. And I'm probably dating myself right there, but that's uh, I was amazing some of the catches those kids made. They're good players. Um, and uh, and it happened for us. And that's what I thought would happen. And I, I thought we could run the ball on them some and grind it out. And we had that one drive where we basically just kind of ran it right down the field and, and – that was phenomenal, and we just kept battling and stopped him on the two-point conversion, which I think was a big, big play. Uh, we blitzed him some and got to him, um, and uh, I thought if we could keep him from running, that eventually we would make plays on him, and uh, and we did. Any thoughts on the bowl situation? Any ideal uh, landing place for you? Oh shoot, uh, I just want to be in one, and uh, I want our kids to be in, a, in one and and enjoy the moment. Um, they're kind of looking at me sideways. I was talking about getting back to practice, and they're like, what, what? Um, I'm going to enjoy the practice time with them. I'm going to enjoy having fun with them. Um, it's going to be a, a great time. And I don't know where we'll be, but I tell you, wherever we are, we're going to be happy to be there and, uh, and play the best we can play. You know the saying, Coach, uh, sustaining success is whole, so hard but so sweet. Sustaining this amount of success throughout the entire season, how gratifying does it feel now? Wow. Uh, it feels real gratifying. Um, it feels really gratifying. Uh, you know, if, if you would have, I told our kids, I asked them, I said, now, 
Y'all thought we were, all the, our kids, I told, them, I told them last week, I said, no, we thought we were all going to be good. Now, how many honestly of you thought we were going to have a chance to win 10? Now, we thought we could beat everybody we played. Don't get me wrong. Um, and they did too. But winning 10 from where we've come from is pretty big. And they started believing the dream. They started believing it. And the way we bounced back after the Utah State game, um, and they're a good football team, um, I thought was um, phenomenal and how we kept battling and battling and battling. And uh, uh, it was uh, exciting for a season for us, it really was. How many did you honestly think you could win coming into this year? I thought we could beat everybody we played. Now, did I think we it would happen? I didn't know. Uh, but I thought we could beat everybody we played. Um, and uh, But I didn't know where that would lay. But uh, the number 10, um, I think, is, you know, that's kind of a magical number, I think. And uh, not many teams will win 10 football games this year. And if we get to 11, there won't be very many teams with 11 wins. And that puts us in a special category, I think. And um, we'd like to be at the end of the day, hopefully in the top 25, if we win one more, you know, that's what we'd love to be able to do. What was your team talk at halftime? Because uh, obviously you might have been, yep. should have been disappointed with like a, the fumble and then them right. taking the lead and giving it up at halftime. What was your team talk? I told them that we were doing what we said we were going to do in the game, except for the turnovers. We were doing exactly what we said we would do in the game. We were keeping them from running. We gave them two turnovers that kind of got them some momentum, and um, they made a couple plays. We needed to play the deep ball a bit better, which we did in the second half for the most part. Um, that guy made that one great catch. I don't know, number seven. I don't know how he catches the ball. He's phenomenal. And uh, um, so uh, I thought I said we're going to be able to finish this off, keep not letting them run. Offense, keep moving the ball, doing what you're doing, and let's don't turn the ball over and we'll win the football game because they're going to end up turning it over. And that's what happened. I thought our special teams, except for the um, the play where we had the – they ran the fake field goal. That's my fault. Should have had the guys off farther. We were anticipating it. Kid made a pretty good run. He made a guy miss, but we should have done a better job being ready for that. That one, that would, I'd like to – that's a coaching mistake. I should have done a better job preparing us for that fake because their field goal kickers, he's okay, but he's not as good as ours. So that was a good area. I was thinking they're probably going to fake. I was almost called timeout. I was going, should I call timeout? I think they're going to fake this. And sure enough, they did, and I was kicking myself. So that's more my fault than the kids. I'm going to take one more question for Coach McIntyre. I'm going to start running the guys through. How about the call on uh, fourth and one to go for it? Arguably the most important decision you went on to score a touchdown. Yeah. Um, I just felt like we needed to. I felt if we gave them the ball back right there, the momentum would go, and they're pretty – I thought that would kind of give them. So I said, if we don't get it, they got the ball back. And I said, but I think we're going to get it. And, and uh, they, it was a stalemate, and then Ina pushed that pile – and uh, that was a huge play in the game. And, you know, Deleon's run there when he popped out was a gigantic play um, for us. So those were exciting plays. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you. Thank you.